All right, welcome back. Number 38, a rectangular prism and its dimensions are shown below. And um, the total surface area of this prism, what is the total surface area? So total surface area of this prism. So I'm gonna go and look at my formula chart. So let's open up our formula chart. And I'm looking at surface area. So that's surface area is right there. And it's a prism. And we're not looking at lateral, we're looking at total. So total is going to be S is equal to pH plus 2B. <clears throat> now, a couple comments I need to make. The P here is our perimeter of the base. And the big B is the area of the base. Now, <clears throat> I can use any side of this in reality as the base, as my as long as you know that you have a pair of bases. I could use this as my base. I could use, I could even use this as my base. Um, and then your height, so if you use this as your base, then the 7.5 is going to be your height in between the bases, okay? If you use this side as your base, then that means that this is your base and this is your base and that this 6.5 <clears throat> is going to be the height between the bases, okay? So now um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, for me, I'm gonna use this as my base. So, and then I'm gonna write P. So P is equal to, um, that. remember that's 2L plus 2W. So then that's gonna be two times 7.5 plus 2 times 5, which is going to give us, or you can just add, you can just say this is 7.5 and this is 5. So then um, 7.5 times 2 is going to be 15. So then that's going to be um, plus 5 plus 5 is going to give you 25. So my perimeter is equal to 25. And my area, my big B is equal to length, so base times height, so 7.5 times 5, which is going to be 37.5. Now I'm going to plug this all in. So S is equal to my perimeter, which is 25, times 6.5 plus 2 times 37.5. So I'm going to put everything in my calculator. So let's see. S is going to be equal to 25 times 6.5 which is going to be 162.5 plus 2 times 37.5, which is going to give us 75. So 162.5 plus 75, which will give us S, the surface area, is 237.5 inches squared. All right. <clears throat> Not too bad, right? Not too bad. I'll go on to the next one in the next video. See you then.